welcome back everybody welcome if you are new today we're in the pro late models here at knoxville we're at a decent time in practice a couple guys got quicker than us but it's a very fresh track right now to start with so times are going to be real fast right on the bottom hopefully we can qualify well because that means we'll probably start in a good spot for the feature as well mainly because it's gonna be very tough to pass in the heat race just because it's gonna be mostly bottom they're starting to get a line built up through these corners not too much in three and four at all one and two it has a little bit more but not much at all you can still get down to the bottom no problem definitely a little slick on exit there oh i got the wall that's not good very easy to slap the wall off of turn two a lot just trying to keep the car straight see if we could have a clean second lap here Ran a little higher so we can get that grip. Three and four are going to go all the way down here because it's not really slicked off at all. Felt like it wasn't a great three and four. Hopefully it's in the fours at least. That's what I'm hoping for. 551, not great. Dang it. I was kind of hoping to get into the fours because we're probably going to fall down even further from there. Did not have a very good time. Probably would have had a better uh, first time if I didn't slap the wall, but it is what it is. We'll have to work our way up through the feature and stuff, and there's some fast people still left to qualify, so we're definitely going to be falling down the ladder a little bit, so it is what it is, but still have a bunch of people left to qualify, so I'll bring you guys back and get ready to take the green in the heat races. All right, we fell back to like ninth. Hunter still ran at a time just about as fast as, or just faster than his practice, which is absolutely crazy, but we're starting in fifth. I'm happy we're at least on the bottom for the heat race. So hopefully we can make something happen out of that. Of fuel to the Try race. to move up some. We got Anthony right in front of us. Hopefully we don't run him over. Good luck to everybody though. Hopefully we can do well and try to gain some spots out of this heat race. Or at least one. Because we'll be on the bottom side for the feature. Because heat number one's bottom side. Eight laps. No cautions in the heats. There are cautions in... The feature race, waiting on everybody to grid up still. How many people are in our heat? There are nine of us. Okay, there's a lot. The two car I haven't seen though, so I don't know where the two cars at. I don't know if they're in the lobby or they're not in the lobby. I'm not sure. But it looks like we're waiting on sixth place on my outside and ninth who's the two car. Waiting on them to join up. And we can get on rolling here. But Knoxville is a lot of fun. I enjoy this track a lot. Wish I wouldn't have messed up as bad in qualifying. Yep, two cars not here, it looks like, because uh, the sixth place car came in. Oh, and there's the two car right there, <laughs> just joining in. That's pretty bad timing. Wonder if they were in another race or something, and uh, it got held up some with Rex. Because that happens every now and then. People try to get from one race to another really fast. So he's going to be working his way from the back in the feature race. So that'll be interesting to see what he can get up to. I imagine he'll be quick being car number two. We're car number four out of this. I think there's a consolation race, I want to say. I think there's going to be a consolation because there's nine in my heat. There's probably eight or nine in the other heat. So there's 17, 18 people in the uh, race. I think 16, I want to say, make it on. So there might be a few people fighting for not very many spots either i think like one or two people may go home go. and not make it to the feature which would be unfortunate but we'll have to see after the uh heat race here to see how many people make it through in the heat i didn't even pay attention i imagine top six because that's what normally happens for the uh heat races when 16 make it i could be wrong could be 18. because i ran what was it the big blocks and they had 18 that can make it in the feature, which is interesting. I wasn't used to that. So I'm not sure if these are the same or not. You got a Maybe real early start. Ready. We're getting up in the fourth before Great we get fight. to turn one, which is great. I'm happy about that. Just try to get on that grip level and run right there as best as we can. Hunter up front is on that inside berm absolutely crazy it is a wide seven. entry Man, you're doing a really, really good job, but buddy. I kind of want to keep that line for that grip on exit 
Because once we get to the feature, I feel like the outside is going to be the way to pass. Because the track's definitely going to get worn out some on the bottom. He got the wall a little bit. See if we could try to take advantage of it. Got a little too sideways there coming off the exit. Gonna be able to get on the inside in the three, which is a very good spot to pass. Okay, we made it up to third. That's awesome. Honestly, kind of shocked that I made that pass. I thought I got a little too sideways off the turn two. See if I can try to catch the six car, but I doubt it. It's gonna be very tough to do so. He has a, a little bit over a second lead on us. Line might be like going in a little low into turn one and sliding up slightly on the exit to catch that grip. Because the entry is really wide there going into turn one. They're fighting behind me, so I should be able to get away from them some. There we go, kind of like that for one and two. And just try not to wow. spin the tires too much. That was terrible. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. We'll have to go back and see if anything happened. But that might be somebody in uh, heat number two seeing something that's happening. Because I'm honestly not sure. I know they're fighting for the spot behind me. That was a really good three and four, so I'm happy about that. Eighteen three nine three. Where was that in my qualifying lap? Jeez, I know I had a good three and four, but damn, that was quick. Definitely was catching the six here at the end. I was catching Ken there. What was that lap? A four fifty five, which wasn't too bad. I'll take third though. We'll be starting what fifth in the feature. That's not too bad. What happened there through the uh, race? Did people get together or anything? Because what happened? I think he got the wall when I got under him or something. Oh, he got the wall there, and I think that's how I got under him. I just want to see what the eight car is talking about. If anybody got together. Oh, I think the eight car is right there. Yeah, he's right here. Thought I saw it. Oh, that guy hit the berm. That's what he's talking about. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, if you get that berm, it's going to shoot you up real quick. So that's probably what he was uh, talking about. He probably thought uh, the guy just came straight up, but he hit the berm. It wasn't on purpose, but it happens. But time for heat number two here. I don't even know a good camera for this track, but we'll go with TV3. That number 84's number is a little bit off. <laughs> Back there in like sixth. His number, number was a little off there coming onto the track is it on the left side too like that yes it is that's hilarious i think it's a little off i don't i don't think he quite um got it right <laughs> i like the cat scheme though that looks nice so does the 15 that's up in first i like the blue i think if the fenders were a little bit different of a color like the front fenders it would look a little better but that blue shines and it's really good I, I'm not good or any I'm not any knowledgeable with the um, like gloss and stuff on the uh, paint schemes I'm terrible at that. So I really just don't mess with it. So I don't really have that on my car But they have one more time around see if this heat goes pretty clean or not Hey, I'm happy. We made it from fifth to third there in the heat race. That's really good That's very helpful because We get a two road better starting spot, which is awesome we would have started back in ninth. Instead, we're going to be in fifth. That's a pretty big difference. I'm happy about that. Hopefully, we don't get caught up in something, though. We're, like, just in mid-pack. Just about... Oh, wait. How many people are making it? Six people on the feet to the feature from the heats. So, yeah. 16 are going to make it on. And there's a total of 18, I think, it looks like. Yeah, there's nine in this heat as well. So, total of 18 people in the race. The two car joined in late. So, he's going to have to make it in through the LCQ. He'll probably win that, I imagine, but we'll see. I think there's only eight people in this race. I think somebody's missing from this one, too. Which, honestly, those two would be, like, 17th, 18th. So, I think there's going to be five people fighting for four spots in the LCQ. But good battle up here for second. The 10 car is holding that outside line, which I figure is going to be the way to pass. So that's the that's my worry in the feature is us starting down on the bottom. It's going to kind of suck a little bit. 
three and four we might be able to make work since there's still not too much uh worn out there but one and two i feel like is going to be top dominant it's going to get to that middle line really quick and it's going to slowly move up i think and then you might be able to throw like a slider line to be fast 16 is going to the inside here in the 10 15 is kind of just chilling out front 16 is trying to make something happen on the inside though a lot of grip on entry there but it does get very thin he gets up on the berm slightly kind of made it work but too much throttle on exit got super sideways then the 10 goes back down to the bottom here for three and four slid up a little bit too much 16 is going to have a run here off turn four if he doesn't get too sideways he got a little too sideways but he's fine should be a good battle here for second the rest of the race it seems they're on lap five so far 10 goes high 16 goes low 16 sliding up a little bit but they stay clean 10 gets a pretty good run that bottom lane is not super fast the leader's running that in turn one and two which is quite interesting to me kind of shocked by that honestly three and four i definitely can see it working a lot better it's not as worn out definitely is getting slick down there now through this heat 12 cars all over the back bumper of him right here trying to work his way to that outside very tough to get out there he's gonna have to try to go low at some point he's getting good runs yeah he's throwing like a little bit of a slider line here through the corners they are catching the leader slightly it seems unless he screwed up one corner really badly he finally goes to the outside is that a 15 or a 16 that might be actually i think that's a 15 i think i'm right about that yeah that's a 15 okay i just wanted to make sure because he's definitely a 16 but he's number 16 in the race i don't think the guy out front's actually number 15 no he's number one but that was the final lap of the heat race there so we're gonna have uh six people here but i think really five i don't think the 17 oh wait yeah the 17 not here so five people fighting for four spots uh i imagine the two car is gonna end up winning this and uh being in the top here so I'm just going to sit here, skip the uh, 10 laps for you guys, but I'll bring you guys back and get ready to take the green in the feature. All right, time for the feature race. That uh, consolation was a mess. People getting into each other everywhere and then other people trying to wreck others. It was just a mess. <laughs> but hopefully we can have a good feature race here. If we can go 30 laps caution free, it'd be great, but I don't think it's going to happen. Starting on the bottom here is going to kind of suck, but we'll see what we can do about it try to get up as quick as we can i think three and four you can make work a little bit but not super well so it's all gonna be about just trying to find a gap and uh sliding up into it might be able to throw some sliders in this race because it's gonna get more slicked off as well we're getting ready to roll starting here in fifth i'm happy about that at least we have a decent starting spot we're car number four if we could finish top five i'd be really happy about that but i think it's gonna be tough to do a bunch of fast people here we'll assess the track while we're driving around here you can see one and two super worn out on the bottom so that's gonna be rough in turn one like to start the race i can't remember if these were single file or double file restarts they might have been single file but i'm not 100 percent sure about that three and four here yeah, I feel like you can get all the way down here, but your back end is going to be clipping on this uh, slick part. It gets kind of thin there. Not too much slick in the middle, and then on the bottom on the exit, it's pretty good. So, should be all right there. I feel like you could make a cut down line in three and four work pretty well. If you're, like, not getting pressured by anybody on, on the inside, you can kind of go in a little high and then cut off on the bottom and turn four. Since there's that grip, you just have to go make your car straight through the uh, exit. But hopefully we can get a good jump here being in the same line as the leader he went really early in our heat race so i'm prepared for that hopefully the six car is as well i think he started on his outside so he should know one car is on his outside we got the 10 and fourth 16 to my outside yeah he went real early again try not to run in the back of ken there we had a good jump but we got to the inside of the 10 still. Kept the car pretty straight there. It wasn't too bad. Outside. Outside clear. Slid up too high there. I didn't get a good turn in for turn Outside. three. Clear high. 
Yeah, first place is sliding up there in one and two to get that grip on exit. I think I'm actually going to be able to clear the 10 car. Yes, we are. Nice. I'm very happy about that. The guy in first is just super fast. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know how he's that quick. Yeah, they're kind of throwing like a slider line both corners, it seems. First and second place. That sounds like there's a wreck somewhere up here, or there was a wrecked car up here. He was probably in the back of the pack. Oh god, him and the leader got together. Yikes. I don't know what's going on there, but we're gonna have to get around this lap car, which is gonna be sketchy. He's running the top lane right now. Ken and them are pulling away. Yeah, Lapper's going to be annoying to get around, it seems. All right, I'm running terrible now. I need to try to keep the car straight, not get super sideways with it. Just need to put more throttle control in. Oh, that lap car is all over the back bumper of him. Working on him in front of you. Okay, he's going to the bottom, but he's going to slide back up, it looks like. Is he going to run low or high? Please run low. I'll try to stay out of the way. Okay, he's going back high. He's coming back low, it looks like. Oh, God. Try to hold the bottom here on him. 10 car might get stuck behind him. I'm trying. I'm letting him have the outside. 10 car might get stuck behind him, though. That's kind of the hope, but the outside is fast. I wish the lap car just would have stayed low instead of running a slider line that's fast. Like, you're not going to get your lap back at this point. You're fighting fourth place. Made that work decent in three and four. Should be able to throw a slider here and be fine. Try to pinch him down some so he didn't throw a slider back on me. Because there's no reason the lap car needs to be racing us this hard. Clear, clear, clear. 20, 20 more. Not losing the top three. Well, the first place is gone, but second and third aren't that bad away. Trying to keep up with Ken the most part. Oh, that was a bad straighten out. I let off a little bit too much there to keep the car going up for a slider. That was really bad on me. Ten car got super sideways there. That's what I was talking about, the cut down line in uh, three and four. That actually worked quite well. So I think that could actually work consistently. Oh, if I got the wall though. It's not gonna help nothing. Cause I think if you can cut off the exit of turn four, it's actually pretty good. Just gonna run high in one and two now. Cause that slider line's not the best for me. I'm not good at throwing sliders. But the cut down line here and it is uh, pretty decent. I like it. I like it, Picasso. Actually pulling away from the tank car now slightly. Doing that. Don't know if I'm catching Ken or not. Doing my best. So I'm trying to catch that grip right where it's all broken up right here is where I'm trying to go through. So it's like not the slickest through the corner. We're point nine behind Ken there at the line. Let's see where we are next lap. Because they're like running through the slick in one and two. And kind of throwing like a weird slider in three and four, but he stayed bottom that time. He was really fast that lap though. We did catch him a 10. Oh, caution. Okay. That's going to make this interesting now. If it's double file, we'll be on the outside. If it's single file, I'll be fine with that as well. There goes the two car. I guess he ended up in a wreck or something. Oh, yeah. 
I did have everybody muted, but I forgot about that because they were all just talking a whole bunch when the consolation was over. But that was a pretty good run. I'm very happy about that. Got up to fourth. Able to run really well. Had a decent little battle there with the 10 car. The lap car was kind of annoying there, but not a whole lot we could do about that. We got by him at least without getting into him. But uh, a couple laps here under caution. Don't know if it's going to be double single file. I cannot remember. So I'll bring you guys back and get ready to take the green. One to go. All right, we're double file. I'm okay with this. I'm happy with being on the outside because the outside's pretty fast right now. That cut down line in three and four has been working for me, so I'm hoping I can keep running that, but off of a restart, it's going to be difficult to do that. We need to get single filed out like we were. Had a really good first uh, run, though. 17 lap run was pretty good. Hopefully we can stay green to the end here. Cause there's a little bit over half the race there, but pace truck's gonna pull in. This guy's gonna go early again. Yep. I might beat Ken to the line. I am, nice. And I'm just gonna go straight all the way to the outside. Try to stay to his outside. Get that run off the corner. Try to stay out the wall. Oh geez, oh geez. He went way too wide there. That was terrible for me. Carter went way too wide. Like he straightened out really bad in three and four. So now he's gonna have to try to get back by Ken here. David, we stayed side by side the entire time avoiding that wreck. That was awesome. I feel like I'm really fast in three and yeah, four, especially <laughs> with that cut down line. Oh geez, I hit the berm not what I wanted to do. Try to cut up there. I had to check the replay of that. Because I did not want to get stuck on the bottom there. Ken's making that bottom in 3 and 4 work though. They're throwing like a whole slider line. Ken's actually running the bottom in 1 and 2 also. That's very interesting. I feel like a cut down is better than a slider at this track right now like look how much i just caught him on exit i'm in the wall <laughs> i cannot stay out of the wall too much in the grip car did not want to rotate just wanted to go straight somebody's throwing a slider it looks like so i'm just gonna stay high yeah i don't know who that was they hit me in the left front my shit does like a yeah, that's anthony on the bottom side damn he's making that work i don't know how they're making that bottom work that's crazy Oh, rotated around a little bit too much. Like, I felt really good, and then the back end just jumped around. Maybe try to catch that grip that's, like, right in the middle a little bit. Don't get on throttle too much until exit. Oh, he was throwing a slider behind me. That was scary. Trying to make this bottom work. 19.201. Seems to be doing okay. It's not awful by any means. Not great though. But it gets the pressure off of the people on the inside of me. 19.14. Ken kind of started this trend, I feel like, up in second. Five times around to go. But I think my heat race really set us up for the feature. I'm very happy with it, with how this race has gone. We're car four. We're in fourth. Michael runs high there. He's probably going to get a good run on exit, though. Yeah, he gets a really good run on exit. We're pulling away from the guys behind us, so I don't have to worry about that unless there's a caution. But the bottom really came back in once uh, it got super slicked off. Oh, I think the leader hit the uh, berm on the inside and nearly wrecked that lap car. He almost is trying to throw this race away from himself. He's led every lap been super far away from everybody. He is really, really fast up there. He's throwing a slider on the lap car, which I don't think is necessary. Come on, let's just get to the white flag. One more time, get to the white. Before a caution comes out, I do not want a caution. But it's been some good green flag racing, which has been nice. And I felt like we had a lot of speed in this one. Car did not want to rotate. I was trying to use the throttle to rotate it. 
All right, we got the white flag, so we're definitely going to finish this race. Now, let's just not get in a wreck here on the last lap. Just run a nice smooth line. They're not catching me from behind. They're having a three-way battle back there for it. For that top five. Bill's made his way up in the fifth as the five car out of nowhere. We're going to come home fourth. I'll take that. Good race, Bill. Very, very happy about that. I think Anthony finished seventh there. They were all super tight on each yeah. other. But very, very good race by everybody. Good work, everybody. Go back to see the incidents that happened here through the race. The we had some pretty good racing there off that restart, too. I'm happy we had a really good start of this race, though, because uh, we were able to get that fourth spot immediately from the 10 car. Because we had such a good start, and I was actually able to roll the bottom really well here on the 10 off the bat. So that was a good race. That was overall just really, really good. But let's see any incidents that happened through this race he's gonna get the wall a little bit oh yeah he got the wall 16 i know where to go got to his left rear oh the five car was doing that cut down line and uh got turned for it because there was a guy right on his inside coming on the exit 54 in the wall again i did that a few times later on this is hunter up front he was absolutely flying he got the wall there i guess Maybe the slightest bit. I'm gonna go to far chase so we can see a little bit better of what's actually happening. 11 car in the wall. And this was when uh, the five was a lap car. He's actually the 15, number 15 in game, but five on the side of his car. He got the wall there though. He was fighting everybody really hard. 12 car, a little sideways, barely tapped the wall and exit. The 91 on the inside. I think that's the number two car that ended up leaving. Oh, he's blinking some there. Ooh, that was super tight. I don't think they touched, but uh, he got the wall on exit a little bit there. The 91's definitely moving on up a lot. Oh my god, this guy sent it. Uh, <laughs> he sent it into that corner. He got a lot of damage on his right rear for it. And I think that's the caution right there. That guy... Who was that? Was that the... Uh, was that him? Yeah, that was him going into the pits there. I don't know what happened to him. Blinked out. Oh, I think he uh, ended up running into somebody or something is my guess. Because he went into turn one right here, completely blinked out. And then he's turning off on the exit right there and then just gets out. So I think that was the caution, honestly. That's what it seems like. Don't know what happened. Oh, the 12 car. Oh, that's actually the caution. 12 cars spun around the five and there's more cars coming. They didn't avoid it. Didn't have the best restart here, but we were able to stay in front of Ken, but Ken was hooking up that bottom. We actually, like, hang on, I want to go to me right here. Because we hooked up on this outside really well. I was going to go flying by Ken here, even though I hit the wall. But you can see the blue car in front of us, Carter, went straight at the wall. Completely checked up. I would have uh, ran straight into him, and I didn't have the uh, time to turn down, or I would have gotten super sideways there on exit. I think I got the wall here, I'm assuming. I did that a few times. Yeah, just a little bit. I didn't have really any damage on my car, so that was nice. Because I know a little bit of the back-end damage will slow you down some and everything. But everybody kept it really clean up front, which was fun. Eight car wall slightly. Just a little kiss on the wall. What is this? 18, I think it says. He barely tapped the wall. It's either 18 or 13. One of the two. Was this at the line? Oh, yeah. They're beating and banging at the line there. I, I, I don't know if he let off or... Uh, the hit got caused him to slow down i think he let off there but good battle there for fifth behind me and that's going to be the end of the race yeah that's all the in uh, res uh uh incidents i cannot speak jesus but we finished fourth i'm very happy about that really really good race real clean race as well i felt like we had a lot of speed they kind of pulled away there towards the end but off that restart i was really fast i feel like i could have gotten up in the second there if uh carter didn't completely check up right there but it is what it is. Good win by Hunter. We should gain some I-rating out of this for the first time like all season because we've really struggled on the dirt side a lot. So let's go see what we end up getting out of the results. All right. Results in strength of field was 2,800. There was two splits there and we were car four out of all of it. Finished fourth. Gained 32 out of it and some safety, which is nice. But uh, almost back up to 4K. I'm still mad I lost my 4K. We should be able to get it back. I know the 360s, I think, are at Lima Land, and the Supers, I want to say, are at Weed Sport, which Weed Sport doesn't get a lot of uh, participation, but I like Weed Sport a lot, so hopefully we can run there this week, try to get our 4K back, 
and uh keep on moving up try to get back above four th four thousand and uh work our way back to where we were at the beginning of the season but appreciate you guys for watching as always hopefully you guys enjoyed the race it was a pretty good one so i'm happy about that and uh i'll catch you guys in the next video